from Stillwater. Here's what we know about the homecoming crash right now. The suspect, Adesha Chambers, is being held on a $1 million bond. A judge ordered a mental evaluation of Chambers after a request from her attorney. No word on when that's expected to happen, though. As of this morning, more than 100 people are on the Stillwater Police list of potential witnesses. Police took blood from Chambers shortly after the crash, and OSBI is testing it for the presence of drugs or alcohol. Both Chambers' family and her attorney said she's battled mental health issues in the past. Two works for you. Investigator Marla Carter uncovers new information from a witness who's talking to police again tonight. Marla. Brian, the memorial here at the crash site continues to grow day by day. It's a moment that one of the witnesses, Nathan Oglesby, will never forget. Late Tuesday, Nathan Oglesby arrived to talk yet again to Stillwater PD. They want to know more about what he witnessed in a crash that killed four and left dozens injured. And this is probably two or three minutes before I hit. Nathan showed us pictures his wife took with him and his two-year-old at the parade. Minutes later, chaos. Sound like an explosion. Nathan said at first he didn't know what happened and then saw Chambers' car land just feet from where his wife was standing. We were sitting right there at that orange cone because my wife was resting her foot on the gutter. As an EMT, his training kicked in. I asked what she was doing and she just looked at me and said she was trying to kill herself. And I, I said, what? And she goes, I was trying to kill myself. And I asked her why and she said to be free. Nathan said at that point he called a police officer to come over and talk to Chambers and Nathan continued to help others. Nathan gave officers a statement and was asked to come back again on Tuesday. He's just grateful for the two feet that may have saved his family. It was the fact that it came so close to hitting my family and my son and my in-laws. I think that's, that's what got me the most. Now, Nathan did say that Chambers was slow to respond to his questions. He wasn't sure if that's because she was on something or taking something or because she was simply frazzled by that situation. Reporting live from Stillwater, Marla Carter, two works for you.